Ariana. Ariana, can you do three months, please? Unmute. Ariana. Okay. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Rihan Tanam. Namo Rihan Tanam. Namo Uduyum. Namo Vitra Tanam. Namo Rihanam. Namo Rihanam. Namo Vasayanam. Namo Vasayanam. Esso Panchanam. Namo Loi Savasakunam. Esso Panchanam. Karo. Esso Panchanam. Okay, very good. Arena Bhavya is going to say the prayer. So I am going to say the prayer. Dada Bhagwan is watching me. Close the eyes and imagine Dada Bhagwan talking to you. Bhavya. Please give me the infinite and the strength just that I will never compromise on health so that my body as an instrument will always be helpful to me in accomplishing my life goal of studies and success. I will absolutely remain sincere and study. I will always stay away from bad company and bad habits and whatever happens. Please are your divine grace and blessings such that I never ever miss my satsa. May I in my mind, speech, and body be human, and my soul that is all my resources to oblige others, which is the best religion. I will always remain sincere, moral, and pure in mind, speech, and body, in all my dealings with self and everyone in life, so that I become a man of personality. That's very good, Bhavya. Okay. Thanks for Bhavya. Okay. Ankesh Kaka. Can you please uh, recite the first code of conduct? Yeah. Okay. Jai Sachidanand. Dearest Dada Bhagwan. Give me infinite inner strength not to hurt, infinite inner strength not to hurt, cause someone to hurt, nor encourage anyone to hurt, the ego of any living being, even to the slightest extent. Give me an infinite strength not to hurt the ego of any living being and to conduct my speech, thoughts, and action in a manner that is accepted by all. Thank you, Mukesh Kaka. Okay, uh, who knows this code of conduct? Homework, homework is, okay, homework is you must, everybody must know this code of conduct, okay? Okay, now, Deepak Dada, what did Bhavya say? Deepak Dada? What do what? What did Bhavya say? What, what Bhavya prayer? Oh, what, oh, what English Bhavya English prayer? English by huh. bol. <laughs> bol. Bol. No, no. May daily prayer my English bolo. 
English word delivery. But, but, but that you should have said in English only. <laughs> I did say it in English. No, but this also you should have said in English. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we got it. Prayer. Prayer is very important. That's how we take bath every morning. You all take bath? You all have yes. breakfast? Yes. Yes. Huh? Even in the winter time? Yes. Do you ever skip your bath? No. Only sometime when you are sick, maybe you are yes. not allowed to take bath. So, and what does, uh, how does the uh, taking bath help us? Kushali? How does taking bath help us? Um, to stay clean. They clean, and right. Healthy, yeah. correct? Yeah. Perfect, Shreya, very good. Shreya. To keep germs away. Good. Kupa. You don't get sick often. Bhavya. Some of the coronavirus go away. Some what did you say? Some of the coronavirus go away. <laughs> Only some of them. Fine. Very good. Very good. What next? Anybody else? Fine. Yeah. But the, how about cleaning your mind by taking bath? Do you, do you clean up your mind also? How do you do that? Hey, Kushali says, no. <laughs> you can't clean up your mind with taking I mind mean, by taking bath. No. Does everyone agree to that? Yes. No, everyone... Dada, I, I pour my, I put soap on my head, then I massage it, and then water. <laughs> Is that not cleaning my mind? No. No, no I, I, I don't head. know. Let me Kuchi? ask the I want like to that. ask the intelligent kids. Kushali, Is that not cleaning that the way. mind? Kushali? No, you clean your head. Oh, you are cleaning your head. Very good. Very good. Maybe, maybe you know, Deepak Dada, me, uh, Radnikan Dada, and Dwarkesh Uncle. You know, we, we can clean our mind because we don't have hair, right? We can clean our mind. Both. Dwarkesh Uncle also. He's bold. Both. <laughs> ah. Oh, Kushal is right, Deepak Dada. Come again, what is it? Kushal is right. Yes, to some extent. But <laughs> it cannot really clean up. It is like uh, maybe it will help you 10 to 15 percent. But what about rest of the 85 to 90 percent? How will you clean up your mind? <laughs> but so does our mind need bath? To clean your mind really got hurt. It's it small cushy. Like does, does our mind need bath? Can um, it not? Yes. Oh, says yes. yes. Our mind needs bath. Okay. Who can answer me? How can we take bath? I mean, how can we bathe our mind? Krupa, how do you take baths of this mind, Krupa? Um. So. You have any negative thoughts, you look the other way and say it's positive, and you could do it. And it's possible if you put your mind to it. <coughs> okay, That's Devam, good. Devam, how do you clean? How do you wash, clean your mind? Hmm? Yes. How do you clean your mind? I clean my mind. Mind, I do the whole Charan Vidhi. Okay, very good. Devam? Okay, Deepak Dada, you got two answers. Kupa okay. and uh, Yes, uh, that is true. To analyze what all negative thoughts you get and then try to understand and uh, make it positive, but making it positive is a process which Dada has given through this prayer. So this prayer is what you do in the morning. 
about your goal, about your health, about your studies and satsang. Do you all do? Do you understand that prayer? Yes. Yes. Do you all understand the prayer? Ariana, you too? Very good. So with these prayers, what Dada has given, the, uh, the nine code of conduct, these prayers help us clean up our mind. And when our mind is healthy, you know, when we see, when we hear, when we scent through the nose, when we taste, and when we feel through our hands or our body, our mind gets triggered and you start getting thoughts. How do you get thoughts? Through the five senses. When you see certain thing, when you hear certain thing, like when when you listen to the barking, then is that which animal bark? Car. Dog bark. Dog barks? Is that yes. so familiar? Now, how do you know? This is where our mind has registered, our mind has noted, and we are taught that, see, this is how a dog barks. And what does the cat do? Meow. Mew. And what does the cow do? Cow. Moo. Moo. You know that? <laughs> now yes. the cow does so that's how we come to know so our mind and somehow we have gathered all negative things in our mind so to get rid of those negative things we must do prayer and Dada has given this wonderful prayer in addition to that we have given this prayer because these are the three important goals of our life which are they? Study that the husband's man and health care. Wait, wait, these other kids. You are too old. So you please observe. Huh? It's good, you know, but let the other kids think. They are learning. Okay. Hey, Krupa, think. Okay. Then the three goals. To study, to go into satsangs, and to learn. You are you are saying that prayer every day. And then what the daily. What are the first first sentence we do? We say. He got up for. You will never compromise what. I will never compromise on health, so that my body as an instrument will always be helpful to me in accomplishing my life goals. Very study. good. So this is how. These three aspects of our life. First and very most important thing is our health. Physical health and mental health. So with this health, when you are never compromising and when you are healthy, then your education will never be what? Don't you say, oh, I am sick. I cannot go to school today. Oh, I am sick. I cannot study today. I have taken medication, medicine, so I need to sleep and take rest. Correct? And if you are eating properly, if you are sincere to your food and other stuff, imagine, can you fall sick? No. So when you don't fall sick, then your primary goals of study and satsang will always be taken care. So this is how the prayers help us make right and firm decision to remain sincere to our food habits, to our study, education, and satsang. So, you know, one, one more thing we have said that we will never miss satsang. Do you recollect that? Shriya, do you recollect that? I never miss my satsang. What is the importance of satsang? What is the importance of satsang? Anybody? Kushi? Kushi? Oh, 
What is the importance of satsang? Does satsang teach you something? Kupa. What does the satsang teach you? Okay, Krupa. It teaches you how um, to compromise and everything. It teaches you how to be positive when you think negative. And nothing is impossible when you think it's possible. You learn prayers that are important in your life. You learn the the daily prayer. You learn the divine codes of conduct. Very good. Okay, Bhavya. Make you sincere. Make you sincere. Makes you sincere, correct, absolutely. Hey, Kushali. What does Satsang teach you? Um, how to be positive and um what is the last line of the prayer you said? To become man of personality. Without asking, you must not say Devam. What is it, Kushali? To become par excellent person like Dada Bhagwan, man of personality, correct? Yes, that's what. So Satsang teaches us to become man of personality, means perfect. And one who is perfect will always succeed in life. Okay? Ready, Dada? Yes, very good. Okay, anybody remember what was the homework? Homework was Nine Do you give anybody? Ooh. Do you hurt anybody? Did you hurt anybody this week? No. 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 You all listen to your and parents. Nishta did not fight. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Ariana. Even in Mama's absence, Mama's absence also you didn't fight? No. Very good. So the big dad, no, they but didn't he hurt anybody. That's good. That's very good. So then, you know, with this, you will go one step, you have gone one step further to become perfect person like an excellent person like Dada Bhagwan. He was never hurting anyone. And what if you hurt anyone? You do anything? Do you know what you have to do if you hurt anyone? Bhavya, you know? Never say without asking. You are all old people. So please don't. Okay? Last, last time he does out the up. My sister, he too shouted at me, so I shouted back. You shouted back? That's what you do? Uh, I mean, did, did he have such some teachers like that? I don't know. Ankesh uncle? Does that say like that? No, no, no. Say like, sorry. Dupak Dada, he, he didn't write anything for the last week. He didn't do homework. So he was oh, why, why was he busy helping you and Mama? Mama? Yes, Were yes. You, yes. Mom, you were feeling so much tired, working so hard, helping no. your mama and daddy? No. Yeah. I didn't um, daily prayer English mother, like the group from mother. You said English is fine. You said they write their English. You said I forgot to write, but I, I'll, for I, I forgot to write. But I, for yeah. I forgot to write, but I'll do next week. Oh, very good. Ready, Nada? Okay. You, you, keep, you keep asking no, whether you forgot to eat. <laughs> but, but did you forget to eat? How come? How, how, no. come you, how come you didn't forget to eat, but you forgot to write? 
No, you know, Raji Dada, I feel if he forgets to eat, then his mama and daddy forces him to eat. But probably no. for his homework. Then Papa and Mama ask, why do you don't, don't want to eat? Then he said, oh, I didn't do the homework. I need to do homework first. Bhavya, can we do like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ask. Yeah, it's fine. Try doing that someday. When, okay. they, when they call you, okay, yes. How, how do we hurt people? They they don't hurt people, but how do we normally hurt people? Uh, when I don't like certain things, then I get those negative thoughts. But these kids are very smart. They don't get any negative thoughts. Do you all get negative thoughts? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Shriya, do you get any negative thoughts? Uh, no. no. You, 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 you never tell your mama anything like that? No, you, are hurt, you are hurting my ego and all that like that? No. I see. And how about Kushali, what happened? Are you awake? Are you tired? Huh? I am awake, but I'm not tired. Huh? What is it? Please come again. I am awake, but I'm not tired. I'm awake. You are awake, but not tired. But you're putting your head down. So I was wondering what happened to our strong, healthy Kushali. Okay, fine. No problem. Uh, so... When you get negative thoughts, that's why our vibration, you know, we talked about the phone, we doesn't have wires, but still you can talk from country to country, place to place. And how do those messages go through vibrations? Microwave, radio, vibrations. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Aishani, do you know that? That phone, Communication is through those vibrations. So here also when our mind is working like transmitter and receiver. When, you, when, when I think of, let's say, Shriya, and if I get positive thought, then those positive thoughts go to Shriya's mind. And same way is Shriya is thinking positive about me. She is in Amtawad and I am in uh, Singhod. But still I receive. And it can receive, it can go to Krupa also in Canada. In just split second, imagine. Positive also goes and negative also goes. So this is how we hurt people through our thoughts. Then on phone or when we are talking one to one, when you use harsh words, that is where others get hurt by us. And then we don't behave properly that time we hurt others. So this is how we hurt others through our thoughts, speech, and action. Did you all understand? How, when they don't listen to Papa or Mama, do you think Papa and Mama get, uh, they hurt Papa and Mama? Of course. Because Papa and Mama is working day in and day out for the kids only. Ankit Kaka, do you work hard for your kids and family? Yes, Deepak Dada. And how about Dwarkis Dada, Dwarkis Kaka? Yes, yes. Oh, so you must always listen to them. Do they tell you that, okay, go and work, get money or pounds, and then only I will feed you. I'll take care of you. I'll pay your school uh, fees. Does that happen? No. They are, they are doing so much, so you must listen to them. And when you don't listen to them, they feel hurt. They ask them, Krupa, ask your mama. Does she feel bad when you don't listen to her? Yes. She's smiling. What is it? I get mad when they don't listen. She gets mad. And how about Dwarkish Kaka? Yes. Oh, she feels Bum hurt. Bumika Masi is also there. Bumika Masi?
Ariana, the mom is there? Ariana, oh, your mom is Puja there. Pujamas is there. Pujamas is there. Ah, Pujamas, do you, do you feel hurt when uh, kids don't listen to you? Please unmute. Yes. It, I feel hurt when, you know, when oh we get. Oh, my God. But these, these are good kids. Sometimes they don't listen to you, no? Sometimes. Mostly listen. Most of the time they listen or sometimes they don't listen? Well, sometimes they don't, but most of the time they do. Very good. So this is how, when we ask for the prayer, when you do that prayer, not to hurt anyone through our thought, speech, and action, that's how our mind gets cleaned up. Our mind gets prepared. It's ready to be positive. We, we think to speak positive. We do every positive. So this is how we avoid and not to hurt anyone. And with this prayer, it will give you your Dada Bhagwan inside, your inner Dada Bhagwan. You all have Dada Bhagwan inside? Yes. That Dada Bhagwan will give you infinite inner strength. How much is infinite? Little more? How much is that? Infinity. Infinity is too much, very much. Meda, how much is infinite? It goes on forever, it never stops. Never ending. Infinite strength. And with that strength, you will live, said so that no one is hurt. And when no one is hurt by your thought, speech, and action, you'll always be happy. You all want to be happy? Yes. Yeah. How about Sanaya? Sanaya also wants to be happy? What is it? Yes. Oh, she also wants to be happy. Oh, Rani Dada. Yes. Sanaya also wants to be happy. Oh, very good. Yeah. So this is how. Okay, so homework is you learn the prayer, you learn the first code of conduct, and how many times you listen to your parents and how many times you did not listen to your parents. Okay, everybody? So we will continue this uh, first quarter of conduct for a week and then we'll talk. After that, we'll take part, okay? Okay, so we will do Dada Bhagwan's Arti. Uh, next week, who wants to do Simanda Swami Arti? Can I do? Who has not done so far? Oh, I just... Shanvi and Aishani has raised their hands. Even Shriya okay. has raised their hands. Ashani and Shani, you do Simanda Swami next week, okay? And who wants to do a pad, four-line pad next week? Raise your hand. Wow. Oh, Aryan also. Love you also. Okay, very good. Okay, so we'll do uh, Kushi. You don't know Pad? Hey, Rati Dada. Hmm. Where is Rati Dada? Kushi, where is Rati Dada? Or Daddy is yes. there? Who's sitting beside you? Daddy? Yes. Daddy, then oh, it doesn't matter. Let him speak. It's okay. It's okay. So the, can can somebody teach you to say pad? Only four lines. Okay, you try. Huh? Yes. No, no, not now. Not now. Next week. Next week. Okay. Next week you have to do. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. Okay, Dipika, okay. now we'll do Dada Bhagavan's Arti, uh, Dhruvi and uh, Kush will do that, okay? Everybody, close your eyes. You may say, I'm going to Dada, I'm going to pray, Dada Bhagavan is watching me, and then take the picture of Dada Bhagavan in front of you, okay? Close your eyes. Okay, Kush, Dhruvi. Nada Sangame Swara Bhagava Arati Kari Jiva Tare Arati Kari Jiva Tare Raudra Arta Patya 
Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ashani, Shalini, can you do the three mantra, please? Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Arihanta Namo. Namo Namo Mangalam, 
Thank you. Jai Satchidananda. 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 Jai